Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, episode number 10. So there's a few changes I have to make because it turns out if you let over 150 people ask for names, there's going to be a lot of overlap. Originally this Achilles was actually for somebody else besides, let's see who it is that I'm supposed to be giving this to. So there was, this was for Chardons, and why is the rum always gone was uh, also, they both picked the Achilles for the name. So um, oddly enough, we had this, uh, I was trying to rename things and I was like, oh no, we already have an Achilles. So what I'm going to do is rename this Achilles um, because it is now not, it's going to be, it has a much better role to fill is what I should say. So this is now going to be, sorry, I don't want to spend too much time on this. This will be the Commodore, but the only reason I'm doing that is because the next ship class I'm going to make in honor of... Um, it's a great name. Achilles is a fantastic name. Definitely very British as well. I think there's an Achilles, I don't know, is it a missile class or something? I might be getting um, several things confused. That's very typical Tortuga, but uh, anyways, I really like the name Achilles, and I feel it's a very fitting name for a class. So we'll be doing the Light Cruiser class Achilles, which is to say, yes, we're going to start off this episode building a new design. Um, it's not really going to be a long process because I already know exactly what I want. In fact, the remnants of what I want is all right, is here. Um, so let's just go ahead and design it. And then I have some names already picked out uh, so we don't have to waste time, but I will just immediately give those names. We have one, two, three, four, five, six names that we'll just do immediately. But how I want to design this is be, right now we have this nice window um, for a light cruiser design where we can get, it's going to be slow, just like in our uh, Japanese playthrough, we had one of the ships, which was, I think, 26 knots. This one was probably going to end up being 25. But we're going to be able to get four centerline turrets, and on top of that, we have rear superimposed capabilities, which is just perfect. We're going to get a six-sided broadside, which is fantastic. And on top of that, we're going to be getting um, only two of them will be doubled up, and those will be both doubled up in the front. So if we look at our turret arc, we have really good arc facing forward if we just angle, you know, like 30 degrees port or starboard or off the port or starboard of any target. We should be able to get three turrets firing. That's almost like three turret super fire in front as long as we angle a bit. And then as soon as we get to 45 degree angle, we get the full six sided broadside. But on top of that, we also fire two guns super firing to the rear. So it's a really versatile design. I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to get central firing. The only problem I see is that um, in order to get all the torpedoes that I want on it, and maybe I should just cut down on two of these. Um, I do like that these ships have a lot of torpedo capability, and 25 knots is actually the limit for firing these submerged. So it does seem very fitting to actually leave both of these on. Um, I was just considering that we're right at the limit, and maybe... In order to get better fire control in the future, we'd have to drop the rounds per gun by a lot. I don't like to do that. I'm kind of leaning more and more towards the uh, the design philosophy that rounds per gun is actually pretty important. You run out of rounds per gun so often, and if you can just outlast the enemy, they should also run out of rounds per gun. I did ask, and the, the game developer has told me that the AI also uses, so your opponents also use um, rounds per gun, so they do count their ammo. So you can technically want run an enemy out of ammo and then move up and you should have a, well, every advantage in your favor at that point. So uh, 160 might even be a little bit on the low side of, for what I want for only central firing, but that's just the way it just works out perfect. The other idea I had was to bump this up by 600, knot, uh, 600 tons to get one extra knot of speed, but the difference is 24.8 versus 22.5. So it's like a 10% increase in cost for only a where thereabouts for about a 4% increase in speed. And that doesn't do anything for your firepower, for your defense, except for maybe you can say that the displacement kind of influences how many hits you can take before you sink. But anyway, I think that this is just going to be a, a better design. We can get more of these out at a time. They're not going to cost too much, so we'll actually be able to build more than just the six names I have prepared already. But there it is, the Achilles class. With the four centerline turrets and the not needing to use the light armor configuration, this will be just absolutely the, the king of the seas in terms of light cruisers. 
And now we're shifting away from already the armored cruiser phase and into the battle cruiser phase. People are already starting to build them. We ourselves should build them soon, but we'll wait for some kind of technological breakthrough. We, I mean, because cross deck fire has already come and gone. I don't think there's any point in using cross deck fire when you have four satellite turrets. Um, although you could make an argument that three, uh, that with cross deck fire, even if you aren't getting four, you're almost always getting three turrets because the side turrets have really good firing arcs forward and aft. Um, they're not as much as super firing, obviously, but they work in both directions as well. So anyway, uh, not enough of that discussion. This is our Achilles class ship. We'll save it. I don't think there's anything I'm missing. Slope deck, 2, 2.5, 4, 2, 2.5, 25. Coal, medium, 6200, central firing, 0, 0, 4 torpedoes. Everything looks good, so we'll say yes. And we will first get the Achilles herself. Then we'll build a, I'm just gonna copy from the list, the next line of cruisers. Actually, let's just do it this way. This will take less time, I think. Four more, get. And I will just copy and paste the names for the next four very quickly. And next we have the Dyarn. I don't usually like to use the, I mean, I don't usually use the apostrophes, but I'm, I think that they're okay. I think I was using them in a different series. Maybe it was just a personal one. I don't remember. I think I tested it and it worked out okay. So if everything goes very pear shaped in this, <laughs> because of that naming system, we'll know that's the reason, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay, so we still even have a lot of money left, but uh, we'll be building more light cruisers. I just only have the names for those. In fact, actually, let me just go ahead and build four more, and then we'll get the names attached to those. So this is why I was encouraging people to use uh, light cruisers as a backup. So we'll get five, look at that, perfect. And our monthly balance should only continue to increase until the war is over. So that should hold us over. And then that means we can project battle cruisers around 1910, which is about their historical entrance, right? So maybe a little bit before that, but I don't exactly remember when the first battle cruiser or what was considered the first battle cruiser. Okay, now um, anything else we need to do? We have one ship that's in low uh, supply, but this is actually because it just rounded the South American tip. And now that it is in the West Coast, it should be able to recover supply there. I'm moving the Kestrel to the Caribbean because we are missing foreign tonnage in the Caribbean, basically. So, and I'll probably hold off um, until we get our crew quality up to good with our Renown class before I march into the Caribbean. At least that's my idea, because moving in with these ships, the Renown class, I think will just be, a, will afford us a decisive victory. Uh, otherwise, I think everything is managed pretty well. We'll just be keeping an eye on the Caribbean. I don't think there's any chance the United States is gonna bring in an overwhelming naval force into Northern Europe. You can already see that we're just, we just completely dominate them in force composition uh, with the exception of armored cruisers, but every, in every other way we, we are dominating them. So it, we can stand to the, send a few more light cruisers out. We might even do that. Let's see. These are our light cruisers. These are in Northern Europe, Northern Europe. Maybe let's get the Churro and the Argonaut to also venture over to the Caribbean because that will be the future conflict area. And let me also check just real fast what's our, we don't have a whole lot of base size over here. It might be nice, God, do you think we would because we have so many, five, that's nothing, 20 is probably our best, 20, 10, 20. Well, let's increase Jamaica then, improve base, and we'll build this new dock as well. So keep our, I, I hope that this is basically putting pressure on the other economies to continue to match our dock building because we should have the largest dock. I'm not sure if that's the case, but just take a quick look. 30, 25, 23, 24, 25, 24, 24. So the next best one is 25, which gives you an idea of how incredibly far advanced our dock building is so far. Okay, well, let's get back into the war. There are insufficient ships. Okay, so we just do that same trick where I think I launched one battleship. Yeah, the tuba, we'll just get them to be foreign station. 
for a turn, and then next turn we'll... Oh, that was not... I almost closed the game. <laughs> and then next turn we'll move him back to the Mediterranean. Okay, a cruiser action, unexpected battle. This is should be good, unless it's the armored cruisers. It's not. So unless this is against an armored cruiser, we should be just at a, a big advantage. Close this, close that. So I can see my recording window, so I can line up the window correctly. There we go. Oh, didn't get that first one. All right, and let's move ahead. Oh, sh unknown ship was already sighted, uh, of course. And that might actually be a CA. We are close to Cork, which was the site of the famous Second Fleet Battle against the French. So I think we'll just kind of steam. We'll give up the wind advantage in order to be able to retreat faster if it is actually a CA. Oh, okay, it's an Oakland class. Let's go in. Raise all steam. Move in. And I don't mind giving them the wind advantage as long as we can close for battle. Let's head them off. Okay, they're already being smart about this. I just want to just continuously close the distance because I think that in the end we should defeat them. I haven't even looked. We've taken a few hits. What is the Oakland class that we're up against here? Five inch guns. It does have a... Nope. Five sided... Well, it has the two guns forward, which is interesting. So you, they have um, a good head on. Ooh, three inch belt. My goodness. Strange design. I think just because of our numerical superiority, we should win. There's a good number of sh shots already. Dead calm, so the wind is not actually an issue, even though I was already trying to play up that. Uh, let's just stay out of torpedo range. I guess that's one way we could end up getting severely hurt. And we're seeing a lot of damage going down on the Oakland class immediately. So turn back around, pursue her. She looks like she's already going slow. She's already limping. We could probably send the torpedo, the destroyers in to torpedo her, but why, why risk any casualties in this mission? Things are going pretty well. And there it is. Okay, good. So we took light damage on one of our ships. It's a major victory. We have increased the victory point gap, which is good. Okay, so are these guys, they're still at fair? Well, I think there's nothing to do but to push on. Okay, well, this is going to change everything. Uh, we are going to have to do something now. Okay, they decline. Yeah, let's do this combo attack. Maybe if we win this, it's not in support of the invasion defense or anything, but maybe it'll just help us with that invasion. We don't want to lose anything. And this is our royalty. Our armored cruiser. I think it's up against an armored cruiser. Could be a battle cruiser though. So let's bring you back immediately to support range. In fact, well, I'll just do. I'll manage you myself. Okay. Now this is a convoy attack. Okay, let's get up to speed. Let's have the royalty kind of wait things out. Okay, we do have an armored cruiser. A Pueblo class. Looks like, wow, look at that armor, six inches thick, my god. This looks like a light cruiser killer, so we will dangle our Ottawa as bait and hope that the royalty has time to catch up. She's currently outside of vision range, which is nice. Uh, Pueblo does not look like she's taking the bait, so we'll just move in on the ships. Okay, maybe now is taking the bait. Let's keep going. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything, though. Second line. Now, all this time, my royalty is only steaming at 16 knots, and this is intentional. So we only want her to raise steam when she's going to be engaging the Pueblo. And this is good. We'll just take our pot shots at the merchant ships. Okay, now's the time. Go ahead and raise your steam royalty. What did we save you? An hour. We saved you an hour of not having to steam. Not having to shovel all that coal so quickly. Avoiding a bit of the heat. But now is definitely the time for you to get your butt in gear. What is your speed? 
you're up to 20 knots already, this is good. And here comes some more ships, this is possibly bad. Non-penetrating hit from the Pueblo, which is lucky. I mean, she only has 6-inch guns, so it's not too surprising. What do we have here? I think this is another... Are you kidding me? Very, very unfair to bring battleships to a cruiser fight. Uh, how do I even deal with this? Well, it's the frickin' fleet, so we're gonna retreat, obviously. I'm sure we've sank one ship already. All we need to do is sink two, and it's a victory for us. So, how do we do this? Okay, actually, I want you to go to support, line ahead, AI control, just so I don't have to worry about you. We'll take you down to 21, because I'm sure we outrun the Michigan class. They're on at 19, good. So we just want to wait for weather. It's so early, we won't ever get the weather we want. So, where are you going, Ottawa? Let's just try to keep our distance and see if we can engage at range. Hit the Pueblo. Just need to do enough damage and sink one more merchant ship. Unfortunately, they are closing the range quickly, so let's just get out of here. Okay, I think they're just trying to keep the range with me right at the edge. Michigan has what? What kind of guns? Do you have 12-inch guns? Yeah, so I don't know where the 12-inch gun range is, but it surely is slightly larger than this. So let's just go ahead and pull back. Yeah, let's not risk the loss of our royalty uh, for something foolish. Okay. We are hitting the Pueblo, though, and I think she's almost surely out of range. For okay, I don't know what the auto was doing. Good, she's going with us. Squad max, which is actually 21. Uh, what are you doing, Ottawa? What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, God, now she's gonna die. <sighs> okay, pick up speed quickly, please. Support, usually they just tuck in right on the side, but we didn't have the, the usual, our usual luck today. And we should definitely outrun this, the battleship fleet. So there they are, is that their final pull off okay now if I can I trust you to not be foolish anymore okay let's have you first go to the correct formation and now let's have you go to AI control go down to cruise and we'll probably probe them nope we're not gonna have enough time to probe them I think it'll be nighttime before but we have this marker we know where we sank the destroyer, or the merchant, so we know where they were. And they were moving this way, so we can kind of guess where they might be just by moving this way. Um, what did we find here? Is this probably their battle line? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, back up to squad max, run away. Just keep running, please. Ah, <sighs> we're just not going to get anywhere in this one. But if they're moving west, maybe they've left something over here undefended. How far could those ships have gotten? Okay, anyway, there it is. Minor victory for the U.S., even though we sank something we did some light damage doesn't matter kind of a, a nothing battle so unfortunately okay so now what we have to do is get our ships to respond and it looks like just in time our renowns have kicked up so instead of the Caribbean which was our original plan we're going to get a fair number of ships one two three four five we need to leave just enough okay let's take four and four that's fine we could just take the four renowns. No, let's take four and four. Um, let's take them over to the east coast and see what we can do to resolve this invasion. And then we also want to press an invasion of our own. How many ships do they have in... Like, how empty can we get here <laughs> without being blockaded? So we have these four. That's... Okay, let's leave six total, so we can send 
One, two, three, four. Let's send the mingle and the swirling tides to the Caribbean. Um, they hopefully will get some small escort of, well, one additional light cruiser. I think there's already a few there, so there they go. But we're definitely gonna need some light cruisers to move into the East Coast. Probably we have too many in the Mediterranean, which does not feed anywhere directly. So, okay, let's see. In the Mediterranean, what light cruisers do we have? Okay, we only have two. That was much less than I expected. And it's a good thing we're building more light cruisers. We're actually kind of down on them. We, we do lose them pretty quickly. <laughs> the lifespan of a, armored, of a light cruiser is not not terribly long. Um, okay, so that means we're going to have to just... This one's going to the Caribbean, though. Oh, we have plenty in the Caribbean, so we just need to take probably these two and move them to the East Coast. Like, How many do we already have in the East Coast? That's what I should check. Mm, one. <laughs> That's not that many. We're going to need a few more. Okay, well then, Northern Europe, where are your CLs? I guess what we're going to have to do is take two of these off of raiding. And then, um, can you go back to staying sorted how I asked you to stay sorted? That's always been something that kind of bothered me about this game that they give you the option to sort one way, but it doesn't, it doesn't stick. Oh God, this is not that many ships left in Northern Europe, but we'll take one more out, I think, because the big fight is gonna be on the East Coast. So let's grab one more. Okay, good, yeah, this means I really, really do need to be building a lot of these. So let's even get two more. Yeah, two more, I'd say. Okay, we need those quickly. All right, next turn, let's see what happens. British Columbia is better defended, good. Only the Navy can win this war, of course. Oil firing, oh my god, we have oil firing already. Triple turrets, my god. Well, the, it looks like our battle cruisers are gonna be just amazing ships. We'll definitely accept this, we need to win this. This is one we need to win. All right. Oh wait, no, not good. I thought this was enough ships to constitute being my battle fleet, but nope, it's just bird of prey. So they are, they are rotating. It was royalty before, and now it's bird of prey. Do we control the archer? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, we... Wait. I don't... I'm sure... Oh, we do. We Okay, good. Well, I guess we'll leave him like that. Because they're about to detect the enemy. Okay. So we know our, our battle force now. We have one set, another set, and then our one armored cruiser. So let's just hope that we aren't facing anything like battle cruisers or... Hell, if it's their fleet again, I'll be very upset. But especially because I have a fleet here now. <laughs> but we'll have just we'll just have to see what what's going on. Okay, these ships have their own designs. Is it free? Oh, it's free form. Okay, then this is interesting. So this is a battle and defense. I guess this is a coastal patrol, which I hate the most out of anything that you can hate in this game. Defend Bermuda, that's the name of the game. So we wanna stay going very slow. I'm gonna take these guys off AI control um, and put them down to cruise. We want everyone on cruise until we detect the enemy to save our engines. Okay, we've, pause, pause, pause. We've spotted them this way, so let's just go ahead and form. If they're gonna turn like that, let's just go ahead and pretend they're going to be a support line ahead. Just give them time to form. We'll start moving that way as well, just to detect, have a, a large window of detection. There they are. Okay, so what do we have here? 
Three armored cruisers against our one. Balls. Okay, the New York class is dangerous. Light armor. 21 knots. Good secondary though. Portland is a seven and six, so it's less. It's pretty light overall. And the Chester has this very strange diagonal turret layout. All with six inches. Actually, it only has those six inches and then it has the three. Okay, so besides the heavy armor, the Chester classes, we don't have to really consider it a massive threat to our bird of prey. I think what we're gonna have to do is this. I think we're going to have to try to stay at range, which I've always had a hard time doing, but we really have to do it this time. And we do have an, inst an installation. I'm guessing this is a six inch. Oh, this is our bombardment, their bombardment target. Well, we know where they're going at least, so we can head them off broadside. They have the wind advantage, that's unfortunate. We could loop around them. How strong is the wind, moderate breeze? I think it's worth it. I don't care if they destroy my land target. For us, the important thing is obviously just defeating their ships. Land target be damned. Although this is also insane. Oh my god, they have more. This game has not given us very many fair fights. I mean, it gives us advantages and then it gives them huge advantages. Huge advantages. So we'll do our best here. But we do have the range on them. So if I can just stay at range. Maybe I can kind of goad them into fighting further to the west. Okay, you guys have to pick up the pace a bit. Oh, are you kidding me? If that's a bunch of battleships, like, I will just close the game. No, I won't, but I'll be very upset. I have a battle fleet here. That's the frustrating thing. I brought my battle fleet in to the East Coast. So they, why would they get a, access to the battle fleet but not me? It could have been a really fun fight. Looks like a bunch of armored cruisers. Okay, so Bird of Prey, you just have to do the impossible. <laughs> Beyond the impossible. <sighs> Doesn't look good, does it? Okay, she's already firing, so let's just wedge ourselves in between two enemies, which is not what you would normally want to do. Uh, we, oh God, we just, we have to stay on there, on the non-favorable side of the wind, because if we don't, we're just going to get smashed into this other group of, another Portland class, okay, well, let's just stay on this course and see what we, what damage we can get done. Any ships we can sink are a bonus, just anything, even destroyers. So we're just gonna skirt the sides. Like, this is a good engagement for us. These three versus that one. Okay, this is engagement. This is engagement is going down. Deck miss. I mean, a deck non-penetrating hit. Steward hit. Okay, this is fine. Even though it's not favorable for me in a win sense. Okay, we take our first hit. We take our second and third hit, but only second penetrating hit. We hit the New York with our six inch gun stamp. I have to round the corner, that's why I have to stay close with them until I get around. But I think we can take out the Cleveland class. So we're almost past. We're almost past, and we are hitting that, wow, it just looks six inch guns. Where are my 10 inch guns? Open up the 10 inch guns. Okay, we round in the corner, get out of there. Glowworm critical hit, fire control damage, damn. You'd think we could win one, uh, one on two right now, uh, two on one I should say. We can't even win that. If we can't win a two on one, we're not gonna win on one on three. <laughs> okay, squad max is still this. We have to just pull back. Oh, we could enter the port of Hamilton. Not at this time. No, we'll fight a little bit longer. I don't know how, when we'll get the opportunity to retreat again, but. Okay, we did land. Was that a 10 inch hit? No, just six inch guns. Come on, we need those 10 inch guns firing. I mean, hitting, not just firing, hitting. 
Okay, Rochester class, a new class I have to identify. This one's also meaty. The Portland class was the weird one? No. That's a cruiser, light cruiser killer. And destroyer, okay. Wow, this is just, it makes this engagement impossible though. There's no way I can, I can defeat this many ships. We have hit that Cleveland a few number of times. Okay, no, but turn and run. They're closing. We need to get away. And as soon as they aren't closing particularly quickly, we need to reduce our speed. They're actually still at 16, which is a mistake. These are the ones who now can go down to 16. Just to recover a little bit of engines. Already down to 20 on the Bird of Prey. Okay, good. Just Take your time, cruise around. We'll just focus on this fight, which should be one that we can win. It's three destroyers, or two destroyers. Sink them. Come on, sink them. Fight for every inch here. It'd be really nice if they ran themselves into a, a mine, although our success with those has been pretty limited. Surprisingly, because mines, I think, should be able to do a fair amount of damage. Another Cleveland is closing. Glowworm is launching torpedoes. Glowworm, very famous World War II ship, in case you don't know the story. It's pretty epic. They charged against impossible odds. I think uh, it was like a... I don't even think it was a destroyer. Or was it a destroyer? An old destroyer? But it, it just took on like a... What was it? Was it the armored cruiser during the invasions of Scandinavia? I don't remember. That might have been another ship. Okay, well, we're going at it now. Let's just... This is definitely going down. <laughs> Lots of hits on their ship, which is good. He is spinning in a circle. Let's make sure our ships up here are doing perfect. Okay, we might pull this off. Just might. Oh, yeah. Lots of Cleveland classes. Oh, well... Just like the fact that uh, suddenly our guys are AI controlled, but we'll come back into range now. And they're just sailing off. It looks like they're coming back though. Okay, but in the meantime, we're gonna sink their ship. No, not line abreast. I don't know where you're getting this idea from. Just sink the Cleveland while you can. She's obviously not gonna be in any condition to launch torpedoes just flying in a circle. Flying or, you know, probably not the right word. Uh, still no. Still no. Although at least at this point we've secured one victory for ourselves. I'm sure that this Cleveland class is now sinking. Okay, let's drift away. Well, let's actually do launch torpedoes and see if we can just get one torpedo to make sure that her day is over. Cruise. Let's get you guys down to 16 as well now. Save that. Save those engines. Yeah, she's on fire, heavy damage. I'm sure that she's sinking now, but it'd be nice if we could launch one torpedo and make it a sure thing. Okay, let's just pull back. Torpedo be damned. There's our torpedo anyway, but we missed. Huh. They are doing what? Well, let's get our ships over. We'll form up our big ball. No, don't pick up the survivors. They can swim to they can swim to Bermuda. They really are interested. It's a good start. I wish I could turn off this flag. Now I think that this is a ship we should go for. Okay, it's actually three armored cruisers. What is their speed? Fifteen. Are they actually moving slow? Twenty? 10, 15, I think they are. Hmm. Otherwise we have the original ones. This is the ones we've actually done damage to, so let's go down for those. So pull away and swing south. So west, southwest. Let's make our headings west, southwest. About, what would that be, about 240?
All right, now this is very dangerous, but I I don't think we've done enough damage yet. If we go in, what do they do? They sink all our targets. Do we still win this one? I don't know. I really don't know. Probably yes. A single light cruiser, but they've done actually a fair amount of damage to us too. Okay, let's just get the armored cruiser to the front. Are they trying to pick up their survivors? Is that what they're doing? I guess so. I kind of want to be on the east side so that we can just quickly dive into port. But at the same time, the wind, which is a moderate breeze, is to the west. So we just have to make a decision either to... Let's keep the door open for a retreat. Which is going to be a little bit worse for us, but that's okay. Okay, 16, move down. Good, let's kill this destroyer if we can. That'll be... I'll, I'll be happy with a destroyer and a light cruiser. I'll be happy to sail into port with even just that claim. We'll keep our light, our armored cruiser away. Make sure that we're not sailing into a trap over here. It looks like we're not. Okay, this is weird. I mean, their destroyers are coming right into us, which should be a really good sign for us, but yet we're not landing too many hits. I'm gonna leave these things to happen because this is, should be just a terrible situation. Wow, the New York is in range and has just blasted the glowworm. We're getting into port. We're going to port. We're going in. <laughs> this is enough has enough is enough. Yes. I wish I could have detached the glowworm herself. So, can I turn and get a few last parting shots off? Because, you know, if we can sink one more destroyer, I'd be even happier. Okay, go to squad max. Let's do whatever we can. Go to squad max. You guys don't need to keep up your engines. You don't, your endurance doesn't need to be very high, basically. God, this, you know, this New York class is out shooting my bird of prey, which I'm very upset by. Go after the Jenkins over there. Okay, visibility is dwindling. Okay, just the bird of prey now. She's close. She just needs to land maybe another shot or so, and then I can take her into port. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. She's all by herself. She's hitting the row. That's unusual. Not what I expected. Okay. Um I think in order to get that thing, we have to leave the zone and then go back in, because we're definitely taking some damage now. Well, we did hit with our 10-inch guns. Another hit with our 10-inch guns. Not bad. Another hit. Very good. Another hit. This is the, the winds of fortune changing. Another hit. Okay, light guns penetrate our belt extended. That makes sense. But we are just landing those 10-inch sh shells. Okay, now let's just go ahead and mosey on into port. Visibility is going to help us do this as well. Okay, good. So we'll just move. What? Okay, I guess we have to move out more and then move back in. But the good news is I think our installation will be protected by... Um, the mine circle, which is invisible to us, but somewhere out there there's the mine circle which they can't enter. And we've held off until dark, so they won't be able to destroy their target. Yes. Okay, good. So, so whew, that was actually a <laughs> very tense engagement. We have to wait the rest of the thing, but at least none of our ships, when you get them back to port, they won't sink over time. And I don't think any of them were hemorrhaging uh, or, you know, taking on a lot of water anyway. Um, it's slowed down, so they're probably coming very close to one of our ships. I don't even know what ships we have out there anymore. With any luck, they'll run into the only mine I have out there. <laughs> but, 
I highly doubt that. I've seen fleets run right through these things and nothing happens, so... Just wait a little bit longer and done. Nope. What? Hello? Hello? Um... Oh, they're sinking... Oh, land target? No! They did get there. Okay, well, fair enough. Just blow up my land target. They're hitting it. Crazy. They, it's not fair, either. They... <laughs> oh, it's still a minor victory for us. Fantastic. They failed to destroy it, I guess. But it just seemed weird that they allowed the enemy fleet to go on, you know... What is this? four hours beyond the time that they were allotted. I wish I had that kind of luck. And in the end, we sank a light cruiser destroyer as we expected and only took some light damage for ourselves. Good. Well, that was a tense one and really didn't amount to much in the end, but it could have been a huge, terrible thing if uh, we hadn't, uh, if we had lost our armored cruiser or even a light cruiser would have been bad. So that's good that that is a good step in the right direction for the invasion of Bermuda. Which, by the way, I thought that I also had uh, reasonable defenses here, but I guess not. Uh, okay, but we'll just continue our defense, but I see it's been 40 minutes, so let me call this video to a close, and I'll see you back for the next one. We'll continue our war with the U.S., and hopefully, because I'm sure we can't, I'm sure we're way over our capacity here, are we not? East Coast. Did they not move? Did I not give the order to move? I did not. It's me. It's, it's as always. What is it? Uh, Pebcac or whatever. Problem exists between keyboard and, I mean, chair and keyboard. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my fault. We did not move in, so let's actually move in. This is what I wanted to do last turn. So we're leaving one two three four five six battleships there that should be plenty to defend our home waters and hopefully we do actually get our fleet in so i apologize i i that was completely my fault although we might not have been invited i mean the fleet might not have joined that last last um, engagement anyway because they didn't bring any of their heavy ships so um i really want to see one more turn just to see what happens but if it's an engagement okay cruiser action of course, we have to accept, even though it might be something really bad. Okay, it's just a, it's a royalty. They're swapping in and out. But I'm going to save this one, and we will do this. Uh, we'll call this video to a close, and I'll pick this. The next fight up will be the royalty. So until then, thanks for watching, and take care.